The new St. Louis Circuit Attorney has hit the ground running just weeks into his new job. Since being sworn in, Gabe Gore has made significant hires and his office obtained their first murder conviction. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Bush and Allred has the night off. Gore replaced Kim Gardner, who resigned from the job in May. Our Justina Coronel sat down with the new leader today and she joins us in studio with more. Justina. Yeah, Mike, so Gabe Gore tells me his priority has always been to hire experienced attorneys, and he feels like he's been able to do that right off the bat. Now the goal is to go through hundreds of cases that are in limbo. For the city of St. Louis. Less than three weeks after being sworn in as the newest St. Louis Circuit Attorney, Gabe Gore sat down with Five in Your Side to talk about his first days in office. I think things are going really well. That's because he says he's been able to hire a senior staff. What we've had in this office in the recent past is really a drain of the senior experienced attorneys who could try the most serious cases. Since Gore started, he's added 10 new experienced attorneys. Who've tried over 150 felony trials collectively. So that that's what we need. Now we have the people in place who know what it takes to get a conviction in court. Now his team needs to clear out 215 pending homicide cases. Gore noted some of these have been stagnant for three to four years. In essence, what's happening is that process was delayed a little bit or delayed during uh, the, the prior administration. Those, those tough decisions weren't being made, and so we're having to make them now, and, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, it's the only way to, to work through these cases. I'm told the team is going to focus on case assessment to see which cases will be tried, face a plea deal, or be dismissed. Retired judge and five on your side legal analyst Nanette Baker believes there is a reason for the delay. I think that some of the problems that we've had here because of the pandemic, because of issues with the previous office, some of these cases could be three years old, four years old. Gore thinks they're already doing the work. Just this week, their team saw some progress from a murder case in 2020. We were very pleased that we were able to obtain a murder first conviction in that case. Now he aims to tackle more cases by recruiting more. That's why he's in support of a proposed bill, which would increase salaries. So the legal profession is a, is a competitive um, in terms of um, getting uh, people with the skills that we need to, to come join us. And therefore, pay is, is a, an important component. Just this week, two people started important roles in the office, chief of the homicide unit and chief of the warrant office. One of those hires is Mary Pat Carl. Now, she previously worked for the circuit attorney's office for 14 years, including two years as the current role she's in, which is the lead homicide prosecutor. 